so good morning students today we will discuss about the the your new chapter that is heat first of all let's take the concept about the heat what is that heat means when we touch any object then we feel what maybe it hotness or the coldness it means it is a form of what feeling of the hotness and the coldness means when you take the examples suppose when you touch the ice you feel cold yes sir but when you touch the fire you feel hot it means that what it is the differences between the two bodies it means you feel in one body cold and another body hot it means heat is means are the same heat is of what heat is of feeling of some the hotness and the coldness it means we can generally define as heat is the form of energy which gives the sensation of hotness and the coldness of the body it means when we take the example it means it is the feeling of our sensation of hotness and coldness that is called what heat it means all it means all the molecules are made of all the substances are made of the molecules you yes know it means all this contains in the molecules you will see all the molecules which are very closely packed in the substance in the solid substance you have seen the molecules are very closely packed yes on the basis of the kinetic theory heat can be defined as heat can be defined as the total kinetic energy of the vibrations molecules of the body it means the when the heat is transmitted from the body is at the time all the substances are made up of what molecules in its molecules it is started when the when the fire or the when the heat is attracts there the molecules started to heat and when it is heated it is started to vibrate in its molecules are vibrating to one another molecules in this way by the vibrating to each other molecules the heat can be transmitted from one point to another point it means on the basis of the kinetic theory we can define as the heat is the total kinetic energy of the vibrating molecules of the body or generally we can also define as heat can be defined as the sum of the kinetic energy of the molecules which is present into the body in this way we can define in the various ways about the heat so heat is a form of what energy it is a form of energy means when we toss any object we feel the hotness or the coldness so no so that is about heat we can generally say that what it can be uh, say that what heat is a form of what energy which gives the sensation of hotness and the coldness of body means heat can be measured by the help of calorimeter calorimeter by the help of the calorimeter we can measure the heat so heat is also the very importance for our daily life you have seen is so, no for that it is used for different purposes like as for the cooking purposes is to cook our food we use the heat is so, no not only uh, for drying our clothes for uh, what for drying our clothes for drying our grains is so, no to melt uh, the solid substance uh, uh, metals into the liquid form it is required so no so uh, you have seen that also the different types of to burn the uh, substance heat is required so in this way uh, there are the different uses of the heat in our daily life now let's talk about the units of the heat now unit of heat what is that unit of heat in si unit of the heat is joule it can be measured in where in the joule whereas in cgs unit it can be measured in calorie just i already uh, told you about the what is the calorie that is when 4.2 joule is equal to 1 calorie yes or no 4.2 joule is equal to 1 calorie that we have already discussed in in the in other classes 
It means the weakest unit of the heat is can be can be also measured in the kilojoule. What is in the kilojoules? Whereas in kilo calorie also we can measure the what the biggest unit of the heat. So what is that heat? Heat is the form of energy which gives the senses of what warmth. It means heat is what heat always flows from the hotter body to colder body. This remind this note it. Note it. Heat always flow. Flow from flow or transmit from hotter body to colder body. It means heat always transmitted, always transferred from hotter body to colder body. Suppose take one example when we toss the ice, at the time your body is in hot and ice is cold. It means the heat has started to lose. Yes or no? It means at the time you feel cold. But when you toss the ice, or when you toss the fire, it means at the time fire is a what? Hotter body and your body is what? Colder body. It means you are gaining the heat. In this way, we can say that heat is what always transferred from hotter body to colder body. What is heat always transmit from, always transmitted or flow from hotter body to colder body? Take one example. Suppose uh, some of your friends are feeling what ill. Means he has got a fever. So, no. But when you toss his forehead, at that time you see that oh my god, your body is now high temperatures. Means how you determine? It means when you toss that at that time from your friend's body is hotter body and your body is what colder body. So at that time the heat transfer from hotter body to colder body to you. Yes, at that time you feel that what hot. In this way, you can say that what heat always transmitted from what hotter body to colder body. Now let's talk about the concept of what temperature. What is that temperature? Now let's talk about the concept of temperature. What is that temperature? Tap from we can generally say. It means temperature is generally or uh, we can define as the degree of hotness and the coldness. What is the degree of hotness and the coldness of the body? Suppose you think that what is the temperature of um, Sirha today? So, no, we can generally say. But we can say, oh, 35 degrees Celsius. So, no, we can generally say 25 degrees. Means that is what the temperature. Means temperature can be defined as what the degree of hotness and coldness. It means when we can. Also defined as it can be also defined as the average. What is this? Average kinetic energy of the molecules which is present into the body. That is called what temperature. That is the average kinetic energy. But when heat, it is the what the sum of kinetic energy. What is the difference? In heat, it is the what according to the molecular theory of the kinetic energy. What is? That is the sum of kinetic energy. But in this, in the temperatures, this is the what? Average. Average of the kinetic energy of the molecules which is present into the body that is called what? Temperature. It means this temperature is measured by the usual thermometer. I think you have seen the different types of the thermometer in your home. It's clinical thermometer, and there is a laboratory thermometer, as you know, there is a minimum and maximum thermometer. But I hope that you have generally seen in the two, two types of um, especially you are seeing in the clinical thermometers because these clinical thermometers is used by the baby pupils in their home for, to measure the normal temperature of the human bodies. So no, and another is laboratory thermometer that is laboratory thermometer which is used in the science lab for the various experiments. Um, Whereas the minimum and maximum thermometer which is used to measure the what the temperature of the surroundings. So no, so we will talk later about that one. So, what is that the temperature? The what is um, which instrument is used to measure the uh, temperature? That is the what thermometer. Yes. Now, what is that unit? Unit means it's it's SI unit which is accepted by all over the world. That is in the Kelvin. Yes or no? Generally, SI unit of the temperature is Kelvin. But in generally, 
in common liquid measure in the degree in the degree Celsius. Yes or no? And in degree Fahrenheit. Suppose when you go to the doctors, yes or no, and you have cause fever, then what the doctor will say? Oh, you have the fevers that is 101 degree, that is the Fahrenheit. 101 degree Celsius, not 101 degree Fahrenheit, that is. If the doctor said 101, 102, 98, that is the word in Fahrenheit. Yes, so in generally we are measuring the temperatures in the degree Celsius and in degree Fahrenheit. Okay, now what is the degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit? What is the differences? I will check in the next in next chapter. Uh, in next chapter means in next programs, uh, I will tell you about the Celsius, degree Fahrenheit. You know, and we will talk more and more about the word, the types of the word temperature also. So no, and which are the instruments which is used to measure the you know, temperature that is called thermometer. So now let's talk about the what is the differences between the word heat and temperature. Now let's talk about the what is the differences between the heat and the temperature. I already told you about the some of the differences about the heat and the temperatures. The heat means the sum. It is the sum of the kinetic energy which is present into the molecules of the body. But the kinetic energy is what the average, average of the kinetic energy which is present in the molecules of what body. Whereas heat, it is measured in the calorie meter. If you know, where heat is measured in calorie meter. Whereas temperature can be measured by the help of what thermal meter. Whereas if SI unit is joule, the SI unit of the heat is joule, whereas the SI unit of the temperature is what? Kelvin. Hence, in this view, we can also write the differences between the word heat and temperatures. So, what is that? Once again, let's review it once time. What is that heat? It is the form of energy which gives the senses of warmth. It means heat is always flow from where? Hotter body to colder body. Means heat always flow from where? Higher temperature to lower temperature. It means it is always transmitted from where? Higher temperature to lower temperatures. So, in this way, we can also uh, what, uh, define about the different uh, point of the view about the heat and the temperatures. Okay, thank you.